Rumours of a portless iPhone are nothing new, and it's a matter of when, not if, it happens. But all the speculation and discussion I've seen are all missing one very important implication for content creators. How are people not talking about this? So today, I am. Don't go away. Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel where we review tech related to making YouTube videos. So if you're liking this content, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. Now it's been rumored for a while that Apple is working on a portless iPhone, and it's looking increasingly like the iPhone 13 might be that phone, or at least one of the iPhone 13 models might be. There are a raft of implications of a portless iPhone being touted on the internet, but I'm stunned that there is one, a big one, that no one's talking about. So in this video, we're going to bust that one wide open. So let's get into it. So even before the release of this year's iPhone 12, there have been many leaks by people in the know that Apple plans to make one of the iPhone 13 models portless. It isn't known precisely which iPhone 13 model will be the lucky portless one, but assuming the selection mirrors the iPhone 12 range, my guess that it will be the iPhone 13 Pro Max, as that would be the most expensive of the lineup. Alternatively, Apple could make the iPhone 13 mini portless, since removing the ports might allow Apple to make the phone even smaller. So what are the implications of being portless? Well, the main thing that people are focusing on is that it means you'll have to rely on wireless charging, which will likely be an annoyance for some people, but it's something that Apple is already making as painless as possible through MagSafe, which uses magnets to keep wireless chargers aligned on the iPhone 12 range. And just like the removal of the headphone port, it's something people will probably quickly adjust to. Now this year's iPhone 12 doesn't even come with a charger, and while initially that caused a massive outcry, it's now pretty much gone away. Apple are pros at weathering the initial storm just before it fades away. Now Marcus Brownlee, one of, if not the best tech reviewer on the planet, has released a video speculating on the portless iPhone and the implications. I'll put a link in the description below, but sadly, and Marcus, I'm um, disappointed in you, he didn't mention one of the biggest implications that I see as a content creator that the lack of a port for the iPhone will have. Marquez focused on charging a lot and speculated that for Apple to go down this track, they'd have to supply a MagSafe charger in the box, probably a slightly re-engineered and cheaper version to make it cost effective. He also mentioned that people use the port for data transfer and for wired Apple CarPlay. But he didn't mention one of the biggest uses that content creators have, and that is for a wired microphone. So many people are using their iPhone to create content for, among other things, YouTube. An industry has been built around creating equipment to help support this, from tripod mounts, frames with cold shoes to mount lights and microphones, and then of course, microphones themselves. Rode, the world leader in high quality value microphones for content creators, have even created the Rode VideoMic ME, specifically to attach to the iPhone and utilize the lightning port. The cameras on the iPhone are excellent, have been for years, and are just getting better and better with every new model. Some filmmakers, Steven Soderbergh for example, have even made feature films using just the iPhone. Steven Soderbergh, big like Hollywood movie director. He's the guy who directed Ocean's Eleven and like 20 other huge movies. He shot his latest feature film like a proper thriller, movie theater, horror movie. He shot it on a cell phone. And he's famously said that the future of filmmaking is on cell phones. But great video relies on great audio. And whilst the iPhone microphones are good for a lot of run and gun applications, to get really good audio you need to attach an external microphone. And with no port, well... How people are not picking up on this yet, I'll never know. But honestly, since I use my phone a lot to make YouTube videos, and I know lots of people do, this is a major. To capture good audio without a port, you're going to have to rely on recording audio separately to an external device, which is more gear and more cost, and then changing your workflow to download and synchronize that audio, which is really not ideal, especially if you're working on a budget and don't necessarily have the sort of editing software that makes that process easier. On the flip side, it does open up an opportunity for more Bluetooth microphone options, but they would have to be a lot cheaper than most of the wireless options on the market today. Hey, most of the reason people are using their iPhones to create content is because they don't want to or can't outlay the cost of a separate camera, microphone and other equipment that goes along with that sort of setup. Now, we're literally less than two months since the release of the iPhone 12, and we're already talking about the iPhone 13. Crazy. 
Now if you're one of those people who want to know if it's possible to make good quality videos for YouTube using your iPhone or how to do it, check out this video where I answer that question for you but bear in mind that does assume your iPhone has a port so check out the video while you still can. Thanks guys and I'll see you over in that video.